Hi everyone. Today's video is called Gratitude Attitude. Have you ever noticed that you get what you look for? For example, today I went outside to look for flowers and I found lots of little flowers still blooming even though right now it's a little out of season where I live for flowers. However, if I had gone outside to the very same area and instead of looking for flowers, I was looking for trash, I would have probably found all kinds of little scraps or pieces of things that were buried in the grass, things that were out of place, things that didn't belong. When you are looking for what's right in your life, you're going to feel better and find a lot more of what's working. Most of us are often looking for what's not right and what's not working. So you'll know that right now in the world, there's a lot of focus on gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Well, why is that important? Well, because the more you look for what's working, the more you are going to encourage more things to appear that are working. And it also helps you magnetize goodness into your life as well as uplifts you and creates oxytocin in your brain, which drips into your blood and makes you feel happy. So for those of you who are often focused on the negative, let's work on the gratitude attitude today, okay? So massaging the chest. I want you to think about what you're grateful for. I want you to be able to come up with 50 things by the end of this video that's right about your life. And that might be like, right, oh, I can hardly think of three. Don't worry about it, we'll get there, okay? So here we go, even though, hey, you're supposed to be repeating this, ready? Even though I'm not fixated on what's working yet, I love and accept myself. I usually notice what's not working. I'm problem solving and troubleshooting all the time. Big breath. I forget about what's working. I'm looking for what's not working. Big breath. Even though I miss out on a lot of joy and beauty because I keep looking for what's wrong, it's okay. I love and accept myself. Tap the front of your ribs. I allow myself to think about what's right, to look for what is right in my life. And tap the side of your ribs. I deeply and completely forgive myself for focusing on what's wrong. Big breath. Good, inside of the wrist. Even though part of me is used to looking for what's wrong, I love and accept myself. I want to keep looking for what's wrong to prepare myself to prevent bad things from happening. I want to look for what's wrong so that I'm not taken by surprise. Big breath, big sigh. Is it possible to still be prepared and focus on what's right, what's working beautifully? Tap the top of the head. I'm allowing myself to cultivate a gratitude attitude. Tap the eyebrows. I'm allowing myself to focus on what's working, what's feeling good. Tap under the nose and breathe. So think about your body right now. There may be things that aren't working, but just for a minute, let's focus on the things that are working. Do you have the ability to walk? Do you have the ability to grasp something and hold it in your hand? Do you have the ability to see, to hear, to swallow, to touch something? Big breath. Tap at the front of your ribs. Do you have the ability to go somewhere? Tap the side of your ribs. 
do you have the ability to eat? I bet you have most of those things. Tap the inside of the wrist. I'm allowing myself to be grateful for my body and all the ways that it still works, including the ability to stand, to sit, to lie down. And it sounds like you're a dog, doesn't it? Tap your middle finger. I'm allowing myself to be grateful for what's working in my body. Tap the bottom of your fourth finger, including what? Name three things that works with your body right now. <sighs> breathing, ha. Huh. You're breathing, aren't you? I know you're breathing. Tap your little finger. I'm allowing myself to be grateful for. Tap the side of your hand. I love and accept myself even though I've been overlooking these small things. These small things are big things. So think about a time when you hurt yourself or your body was sick and you couldn't do some of those things. Maybe you couldn't digest or you couldn't sleep or you couldn't stand. And how much of an inconvenience that was and how you promised yourself when you got better that you would never take it for granted again. But then you forgot to be grateful, didn't you? Let's come back to that gratitude. I'm grateful that I can still what? Good. Tap under your nose. Now let's think about your life. I want you to think about something that's working well in your life. Maybe there's areas of your life that aren't working well. I want you to think about one aspect of your life that is. I'm grateful that this part of my life is working. Tap the front of the ribs. Even though part of me wants to think about how I could make it work better or complain about how it's not working well enough yet, I love and accept myself. I'm allowing myself to accept the part of my life that's really working and to acknowledge it. Good, think about that part of your life again. Say what part of your life is working well. Tap the inside of the wrist. Was this part of your life always working well? Maybe not. Maybe you have actually overcome some adversity and grown this part of your life to be what it is. What would happen if you acknowledged and honored yourself for rising to the occasion and working hard and being persevering and getting this part of your life to function? I'm allowing myself to be grateful for my persistence. Big breath. I'm allowing myself to see how far I've come. Tap your little finger. I'm grateful for my life. Tap the side of the hand. I'm allowing myself to see what's working well in my life. Okay? 10 things. Could be anything. Could be a relationship with three or four different people. That would count for three or four different things. What else? Name two more. Tap your cheek and breathe. All of these things are actually working well. I'm allowing myself to feel gratitude, to appreciate what's working well. Tap the chest. It's safe for me to stop and appreciate these parts of my life. Big breath, say them again. <sighs> Tap the front of the ribs. I'm allowing myself to cultivate an attitude of gratitude, to enhance my experience of life. Tap the side of the ribs to enhance my joy and appreciation. Tap the inside of the wrist. I forgive myself for putting off feeling grateful for minimizing my gratitude or for neglecting to see what is working. Tap your middle finger and breathe. I'm allowing myself to see what's working in my relationships, in my body, in the world around me. Tap your little finger. I'm releasing the need to feel stressed out or upset 
Tap the side of the hand. I'm allowing myself to cultivate this attitude of gratitude. Tap the top of the head. It's safe for me to feel grateful, even if I still have a ways to go. You know, a lot of times we put off feeling grateful till we think we're at the end of the journey and then somehow we'll look back and be like, yay, I did it. But what if you stopped along the way and did a little victory dance every day for something simple like, yay, I made it to work on time, yay. I made my healthy food today, yay. I went to bed early and gave myself the sleep I've been missing, yay. I drank enough water today. Tap into the nose. I'm allowing myself to encourage myself to have a little victory dance every day for even simple small things. This keeps me feeling positive and connected to what's working. Tap the front of the ribs. I'm enhancing my ability to feel joy. I'm giving myself a deeper experience of the beauty that my life already has. This encourages me to keep moving forward. These small victories encourage me to greater victories. Tap the top of your head all over your body. Okay, I want you to name 50 things that you're grateful for. You've got one minute on your market set, go. Keep going. It's okay if you said the same thing twice. Keep going. And what else? Good. Thank you for practicing gratitude, cleaning up your attitude. This makes the whole world a better and happier place.